Hey guys, welcome back to another war recap video. I'm your host Goo from, uh, from Convergence. In this video, I'll be recapping our war against Los Colosos, I believe they're called. Uh, you can see we tied in stars again, but unfortunately this time we were able to pull out the win on percentage. Uh, we lost on percentage by 3.3%, so it was a pretty good percent. But still, it was close till the end. Uh, they were able to beat us because um, they had, they were able to do a couple 11 v 11s and get a good a high percentage on a good amount of our um, town hall 11s. Unfortunately, we weren't able to reciprocate that, so that cost us to win. But we came pretty close. Uh. We did. We had some 10 v 11 two stars. We did have one 11 v 11 triple. So I'll be go, uh, recapping that for sure. And then nines and 9.5s did a pretty good job clearing all the nines, taking them out. But yeah, we were just unable to reciprocate and come back on the percentage by two starring on um, the 11s high enough. But it was a really good effort by our, our clan to really push back. <clears throat> All right, so first re first uh, first replay will be by will be Toaster coming in on number one using the four golem bowler strategy. So let's see how he goes in. So he's going to start off with a golem coming at that 3 o'clock cannon and a couple bullers behind it. You can see he uses a rage to push down that um, golem and bullers to push him down and make a nice funnel. Uh, he had another set of golems and bullers down at 6. Once the funnel is set, um, he sets down the remainder two golems at the two mortars around 4 and 5. And then the remainder of his bowlers, then his heroes, and his, um... Yeah, and he drops his wall breakers to break in around 4.30ish, 5ish. He's pushing in his, um, bowlers. Drops a jump over the CC into the town hall. Bowlers are going to take it, so is the king. King's going to take out that first inferno. Unfortunately, he didn't bring any heal heal spell so um, bullers took quite a bit of damage from the inferno towers and the e artillery and, all, and just all those buildings down around three to five but he was he was able to pull off the two star and they went with a nice 57 percent or 58 let's just speed it up a little bit it be ends with 57%, just so close on that last elect storage. So nice job by Toaster. Uh, we had Chris uh, attempting an 11 elite, 11 v 11 on number two, but wasn't able to. Then we have the Legend 27 coming in on uh, number three for Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 11 two star. So he starts off with a Archer at that three o'clock. Builder hut and just a couple more and spread air around the base, just picking off some uh, useless buildings. That <clears throat> drops a golem at the uh, 11 o'clock, yeah, 11 o'clock mortar. Another golem around 9:30 ish at the 9:30 mortar, and using just dropping a couple boulders behind each of those golems to make a funnel. Notice that he only brought two golems instead of the usual three or four. Uh, so yeah, he's going to use a jump, push them into that inferno compartment, drop a heal for those bowlers, and <clears throat> drop a poison for the CC as they come out. Unfortunately, his king walk decided to walk, and along with some bowlers, he's going to pop that queen's ability, and queen's going to uh, end up taking out that town hall. Town hall was weakened a lot by the bowlers already. And now he has six baby drags to get the remainder, uh, the remaining percentage off the base. 
Unfortunately, Eagle Artillery didn't go down, so it's still going to be targeting those baby drags. But he had enough to get um, the 50% to make it a two-star attack. So nice job by Show uh, the Legend 27 here. Just speed it up a little bit. And is he going to use his last two? Yep, he drops him off, <clears throat> and he ends with 57% as well. So nice job by the Legend 27. Uh, all right, I won't be showing my Town Hall 10 attack, as it was pretty similar to the previous two. We had Rob attempting another 11 v uh, 11 triple, but came up short. And then we have Showtime coming at number six for 11 v 11 triple. It's coming with a Queen Walk, uh, Gobo Laloon. So it starts as Queen Walk around 9 o'clock ish. And Queen's gonna uh, do his job taking out some trash buildings. Drops a Golem, uh, I mean, not Golem, a Giant to tank for his Wall Breakers as he drops them. A little bomb appear, but it wasn't enough to stop those wall breakers. CC comes out, drops a poison for them. Queen's going to do her job and take out the witch and the baby drag and a couple gobs that were in the CC. And he's just going to wait patiently for the queen to work her way to the eagle artillery. And I think I think she also takes out that enemy archer queen. Not too sure about that. Yep, she's going to take out that enemy archer queen as well. His archer queen barely survives without popping the ability. <clears throat> the artillery goes down and he starts his um, gobo down around 6 o'clock. Drops a couple more wall breakers in. Quakes. Uh, yeah, uses four quakes, opens it up that conjunction around six o'clock <clears throat> over that bomb target and leading his gobo directly into that inferno. Uses his second range to push him along. Queen's just about to go down, pops the warning's ability, keeping them all up, and taking out that first inferno. Now, Queen's healed back to full health again, so she's gonna have a lot of work room to work with taking out the town hall and good amount of those Teslas in the core. Started his Lotto. And now Inferno, tar Inferno Tower is targeting the Queen. He pops her ability, pushing her along. Rages those looms all over the Inferno Tower, taking it out pretty easily. And he has so many looms left just for those couple remainder of those buildings. He has a good amount of boulders still up. His warning is still at full health. And look at that, totally demolishes the base. So no nice shot by Showtime getting that 11, 11 v 11 triple. It's not something you see every day. So very nice shot by him. And then the rest, uh, all the Town Hall 10s were clear by 11s. So all of them were most, I think all of them were bitch dips. So I'll be, I won't be showing them. Uh, first Town Hall 9 replay, I have Sandy coming in uh, number 12. He's actually 9.5, but he's bringing back the Quad Quake, Queen Walk, Mass Baby Drag attack. So starting off a couple minions around 6 o'clock, another minion up around 9. Starting his Queen Charge right in between those two uh, funneling troops, or couple funneling troops. Those minions are going to do a good amount of work. <clears throat> Drops his king uh, pretty early off, using a couple wizards to help funnel the king as well. That quake uh, opened up a nice entrance for his queen to walk in and take out all four air defenses pretty relatively easily. He drops off his bowlers using those to go inside the core. You don't see just these kind of attacks uh, a lot nowadays as there's a lot of, um, most of the bases have their air defenses 
in pretty far from each other, so it's kind of hard to launch these kind of attack. But Sandy finds a nice base to launch one of them, and he takes advantage takes advantage of it, and yeah. So Queen's locked onto the Hound right now. She's going to pop it, and he brings a poison along. Perks of being 9.5 is that you get extra spell storage. So usually when you do a Queen charge on um, Bass Baby Drag, you use you use a good amount of spell space for um, Quakes, and then the remainder six spell spaces are used for uh, three Rages just to push your Queen along. But as a 9.5, you get two extra spells, uh, spell spaces, housing spaces, so you could use it on poison, two poisons, and that would be really useful if the CC contains like a baby drag combo with a witch inside. Witches are very annoying to take out if you don't have a poison for them. Pops the queen's ability, and you can see that he's just dropping his um, baby drags along the base, using some loons to take out a couple of those defenses. He's down to one healer, and the queen's barely up at this point, but she's going to take out that barely, uh, she won't be able to take out that Tesla. And those baby drags are just finishing up their job, and so just going to speed that up a little bit. There you go. One thing to be careful about uh, these kind of attacks is that they're very slow. You gotta be very uh, tight. You have to be very. You have to be time management with uh, these kind of attacks. So while your queen's doing her walk, you'll be. You have to be dropping baby drags around the base, taking out uh, all those trash buildings, a couple canyons, a couple archer towers. The three main things you want your queen to take out are the archer queen, the CC, and all the air defenses. And you can always use it, use your king, uh, backed up with some boulders to help take out some air defenses as well. And yeah, that's what I usually like doing. But or you could uh, do it like Sandy using your king right off the bat to make a better funnel for your queen charge. So now we have Rob coming in on number 14 with his uh, Queen Waco Vaho. So he has an interesting um, plan here. So he starts his Queen Walk around 3, has his Queen Walk King walking down around 12. And he has a semi HG uh, HGB going on right now. As you can see, he has those giants, but instead of 4 healers, he only brought 1 healer. <clears throat> and he drop all his Valks around um, 2 o'clock, drops a poison for the queen, raises those Valks up, to tear, and they're going to tear through that queen like she's nothing. Hound comes out, so he's not even going to bother with the queen taking her on, it on, whatever the hound's gender is. Yeah, so as long as the hound remains up, Unpopped. It's not going to do a lot of damage to his ground troops. Uh, I think the Hound's focus on his Valks right now. So, Valks are pretty tanky. They're not going to get much done. The Hound's not going to get much done to Valks. And he's also been sprinkling his hogs around the base. So you can see how nicely it just kind of closes up. His queen, his king's not down yet. Queen's still at full health, and he still has plenty of Valks and bowlers. And even his giants are still up. So he's going to pop his queen's ability and take out that last archer tower. Nice shot by Rob there. You may notice there's two Robs in our clan. One's a 11 and another's a 9. A lot of people get confused, including myself. Especially when they have their same tags. Makes it even more confusing. Next up, we have Bex come in on uh, number 16. He's come in with his usual Gobo Laloon. You notice that his spell competition is a little different. He's bringing in um, one jump, one rage, and four hastes and a skelly. He uses some minions to clear away some trash buildings up around 12. And drops his first golem at the mortar at <clears throat> 11, second golem at the mortar around 1, 
you can see a Tesla farm pops up there. He's going to use his kill squad to take advantage of knowing where the Tesla farm is and take them out early on. Uh, bowler, bowlers are going to hit a giant bomb. It's not going to worry about it too much. King's gone down. Queen's going to help take out a couple of those uh, Wiz Towers and potentially that Expo as well. Expo's locked onto the Golem right now, so he doesn't have to worry about the uh, Expo locking onto one of his houses and causing extra damage. Sending is a La Loon from 3 o'clock all the way down to 6. Drops a Skelly spell on the Queen just to distract the Queen while his loons are finishing up the job and take out those remainder of the buildings, defensive buildings. And by this point, only that cannon's left, so the loons are going to travel up, take out the cannon. Seeking Aramime's going to pop that loon. And a Aramime's going to be triggered, but it's not going to take out all those pups. Pups are going to charge head first into that queen. Unfortunately, they won't be able to take out the queen. So just going to fast forward a little bit. He has plenty of loons left and pups left to take out, to clean up. Nice job by Bex getting a triple. The next attack will be my nine, my main account. Uh, come in on number 17. I'm coming in with a queen walk, La Loon. Starting off with a queen walk around three o'clock. I'm going to use her to take out the. Uh, um, enemy archer queen the cc and the king since he's in range as well so i just drop my first baby drag gets taken out by seeking aramine so i drop a second one and the baby drag is going to do a good amount of work helping my keep help keeping my queen in track by taking out the um queen king and the cc i'm going to drop a rage for my queen and you can see at six o'clock there I had a wizard doing some job taking out four buildings down south. Queen's going to trigger the CC. I'm going to drop a poison for them. Take out the witch and the baby drag. But the plan was for the queen to meet up with the king down here around 6 o'clock. But unfortunately she decides to go the other way. So that was bad planning on my part. I was hoping that a baby drag would take out the um, bomb tower so the queen wouldn't walk up but didn't as the baby drag was distracted by the enemy king so once all those defenses are engaged around six o'clock I drop a wall breaker to wall break my king in to get those bottom two air defenses queen's going to continue to walk up plan worked it out in the end gonna pop my king's ability and while the king's doing that that wizard's going to take out that air defense there and I started my La Loon up north around 12 o'clock. Had a CC Golem there. I mean, not Golem, CC Hound. It'll be. It's gonna stay up for, I think, the entire raid. So, Expos. One of the Expos is gonna be focused on my Queen. And she's gonna potentially take her. Take that out. Yeah, she's gonna take that out. Drop a heal for my Loons. Then I just dropped the remainder of my Loons as. There's that Tesla farm there and that semi whiz farm with Archer Tower. And once they come over to that um, Tesla farm, I'm just gonna drop a rage on those loons and they're gonna take it out take out all those Teslas and Archer Towers pretty easily. And Hound pops at the last minute, creating more cleanup troops. And Queen's gonna finish up the job, take out that CC while the rest of the troops take out the remainder of the trash buildings. Uh, then we have Caveman come in with his Stone Bow Laloon. Uh, he starts off with archers around the base, taking out a couple of trash buildings that are, <coughs> that are out of range of defenses buildings. Starts his um, kill squad with drop by dropping one golem at that mortar around two o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock ish. 
drops a couple wizard behind them to take out a couple buildings, trash buildings. Another golem goes down for that, uh, I want to say 3 o'clock Tesla farm. There. He's made a pretty nice fun already. He's going to drop his king, queen, uh, uh, his king and bowlers. His queen was down already. The bowlers are going to go in. Trigger a giant bomb. Drops a heal for his kill squad. They're going to take out that enemy uh, archer queen. CC is going to get triggered. And unfortunately, Queen's not going to do much to help and take out the CC. Poison's going to do all the work and take them out. And now Queen changes directions and takes out that loon. And finally, that baby drag or not. So only that uh, 6 o'clock air defense is left now. Baby drag is still off, up, unfortunately. And he's going to have to drop his um, second poison on it baby drag is going to be focused on that uh, hounds forcing probably forcing the hound to pop soon and those pups are going to work on taking out the baby dragon it's just clean up from there so nice recovery by caveman there swag and poison as well Um, let's see. As we stop, we got Dip. We have Steam coming in on number 20 with also a Queen Walk Laloon. Caveman comes in on number 21 with a Queen Walk Laloon. T Diddy is coming in with a uh, Gobo Laloon as well. Starts off with a Wizard up around 12, taking out a couple of those trash buildings. You can see that the Wizard is going to be out of range of a lot of those defenses buildings for a while. Drop the baby drag up around 12 to help out the wizard clean too. And he starts his golem at that 9 o'clock mortar there using a wizard and baby drag to funnel. And drops another golem, couple another wizard behind it. Unfortunately that <clears throat> golem's gonna trigger the CC pretty early on. The baby drag's gonna help out take out the enemy baby drag. And he drops a poison that doesn't really well he brings two poison so he's gonna cover end up covering that um, witch as well drops a poison for his kill squad as they push inward he's gonna raise him up trigger another giant bomb second jump that's gonna lead them to, uh, to take out a couple of those air defenses there you can see like uh, the entry point that he chose it was pretty far away from those um, air defenses that gather around here so he was able to take out one there the second one here and start his Laloon fortunately he doesn't have any spells for it so it's gonna be a little slow here one house gonna pop second house gonna pop right there as two seeking air mines take both of them out and you can see even without any spells a lot of is pretty destructive only that archer tower and mortar is left now he's going to take them out pretty easily and he's got plenty of um, troops remaining to clean up and get the triple nice job by T Diddy let's move on we got bolts another dip shadow fighter come in with a six pack I'm going to show his second attack. He's coming with a Queen Walk. I want to say. I'm not sure if he has bowlers in CC or extra hound. Guess we're going to have to wait and see. So he starts off with a wizard around uh, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock ish. Unfortunately, it's only going to be able to take out one building. But it's enough to push the queen where he wants it to go. And he had an archer working at the builder hut up around um, 12. Queen's going to be able to take out that first air defense there. It's going to rage up the queen. Have her take out a couple of those archer towers. He had a wizard. Dropped another wizard at 10. 
and that was just gonna end up staying up a little longer but it's gonna get taken down again drops a golem at three a couple of wizards to back it up uses a wall breaker test wall breaker then drops the remainder of his wall breakers so it's a very nice queen walk that uh, lead all his troops directly into the core with where the wizard farm was wizard tower farm and he did have bowlers in his CC so even more destructive with bowlers in his CC drops a poison I mean yeah poison for the CC and then a heal for his bowlers to keep them up as they push along the base I think they're gonna be able to take out that air defense there these guy likes to these guys likes to put their Tesla farm outside and lined up against their base you're not gonna see a lot of um, Tesla farms in the, inside the base with these guys so he started as Laloon that first hound is gonna pop and he drops he does like a three finger drop for those loons on the Tesla farm and they're gonna take out the Tesla farm pretty quickly Pops the Queen's ability to take out that air defense quickly, which was um, destroying his loons. Drops a loon for that mortar, but it's going to be put down by that um, seeking air mine, unfortunately. And that final loon is going to take out that mortar and it's just clean up from there. So, nice job by Shadow Fighter getting that six pack this war. Nice job, man. Uh, I think our last and final attack will be by um, Milky Lou here. He's coming in with a stone hobo, a quad quick stone hobo. You don't see that a lot nowadays. Starts off with a baby drag at 12, take out a couple buildings, another at 3. Drops his first golem at that mortar, second golem. Unfortunately, it's not going to go for the cannon, but go for the mortar as well. Drops a wizard, but gets, gets taken out by the canyon. And then the baby drag that he dropped at 12 is going to take out that canyon. Drops his wall breakers. Unfortunately, a little bomb is going to take care of them, like take them out. So he's going to have to be patient with his queen king and help ha uh, and have the king help the golems break through that wall. I think the golems are just about to break through the wall there. And the baby drag that he dropped at 12 did a lot of work. Taking out uh, two defensive buildings. A whiz tower and a um, cannon. Three baby drag comes out of the CC. They're all focused on those golems so the bowlers aren't going to suffer too much damage there. He dropped a rage for his bowlers but just pushing them through the base. Queen's gonna help take out those baby drags. And he started his hogging already. Starting around three, just uh, surgically dropping them around the base. Triggers both of those skelly spells. Unfortunately, both of them were uh, ground sk skelly spells. I can't talk today. Sorry about that. Drops in his second and final heal for those hogs as they triggered a double giant bomb set. Queen's gonna help take out a couple of those uh, skellies. Only thing left is that cannon and a couple mortars. Unfortunately, one skelly is still up, but it won't do as much damage as a whole bunch of them. And it's just clean up from there. And he still has his queen ability, so he's gonna pop that. Queen's gonna just end up shooting at some walls before she breaks out. Nice shot by Milky Lou getting the triple. Alright. See if anyone got six pack this war. So we got Showtime getting a six pack, one dip and one 11 v 11 triple very nice man very nice job man 
Uh, we got Fez coming in with a six pack dip. Uh, Caveman got a six pack. Showed the Shadow Fighter, and that's gonna be it. So, no shop guys getting those six packs. Keep that up. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to like, leave a likes, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back with another video, hopefully for our war against Gumain Raf, I believe. And hopefully, when I do this recap, the update will be out. Hopefully, Supercell's been putting off that, putting that off for a while now. As always, thanks for watching. Get off my lawn!